Hello everybody, my name is Sirk and welcome back to the Night Owl server. Uh, first off, I just wanted to thank you guys because I just recently hit 2,000 subscribers. Uh, so thank you guys very much. Thank everyone who has uh, subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it and uh, I hope that we can continue this growth. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the channel and enjoying the content. You guys are awesome. <laughs> but uh, this Saturday I actually did uh, a special live stream sort of for that, sort of just because... Uh, um, it was mostly for that, but also I wanted to play around with the new snapshot. Uh, so we hopped into a um, an amplified world, uh, streamed for about five hours with the goal of getting the elytra, and we were pretty much able to do it. I did have to cheat in some ender eyes so that we could find the stronghold um, and actually get to the end, uh, but everything else we did legitly, uh, and it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. We were able to get the elytra, fly around a bit. Um, I did, well, I guess I also cheated in some slime blocks because I was using the uh, the glitch that's in the snapshots right now where if you put a, one of the new boats on a slime block and then you get in, it'll like launch you way up in the air. And that was kind of how I was getting up in the air so that we could fly around. Uh, but yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> we also have some news on the Night Owl server. I'm actually on... Uh, in one of the new structures built by one of our new, newest members. Uh, we just added three more people, so now we have like four new people within the last uh, month or so. Uh, we added um, Mofuck, Shtiana, I think it's Shtiana, <coughs> um, Shtiana, uh, who built this thing, and Mamokin, who is our newest member. I thought something was on fire, but it's just this thing. And all their links will be down in the description, all their channel links, so make sure to check them out. Uh, now, where did my horse go? Of course. Where is my horse? I just put you down, guy. You were right here. There you are. All right. So, anyways, uh, let's head... <clears throat> there we go. Let's head over this way, because uh, we're going to be doing work. Uh, we're going to be setting up another shop, even though this shop really isn't done yet. Uh, we still need to fill it up with dyes, and so we need to make some farms. Um, I'm going to put probably just a, a bone meal farm for the two tall flowers down in the basement of this building. I'll have to make a basement too, and maybe a cocoa bean farm, because uh, that should get a, give us pretty much everything that we need. Um, we need because we'd get red and yellow dye from that. Uh, we can get green dye from the cactus farm over here. We can get white dye from the uh, mob farm or the skeleton grinder um, <clears throat> and with the cocoa beans we could get brown dye from there so then the only dye we would be missing is black and blue and blue dye you just have to mine up or buy from the villager uh, and then black dye we'd need some sort of uh, squid farm um, but uh, well that's actually very fitting. <laughs> Kamikaze must have been here. I was just over here, too, right before I recorded. That sneaky guy. I wonder, is he working on his bridge thing? Did he take my pumpkins? He might have taken some of my pumpkins. Huh. Okay. Well, uh, that's, that's kind of fitting, because uh, what we're going to be doing today is making a seasonal shop. That's why I want to get started on this rather than work on the die trader. Uh, die trader can wait, but uh, Halloween is coming up, and I want to get this ready for that um, with enough time before that happens uh, let's put the horse away Ooh, get a little leg in here uh, and we're gonna go off that side okay <clears throat> wow kamikaze <laughs> he is uh, he's really behind on the achievements he just got enchanter and librarian today it's been a really big day for him <laughs> but anyways uh, yeah I have the plan here of making a seasonal shop that will change with each season, so right now it's going to be like a Halloween harvest uh, for Halloween and uh, American Thanksgiving. Um, and then we'll change it to like uh, Christmas and New Year. And then after that, I guess Valentine's um, and then Easter and then uh, 4th of July or something slash Canada Day. So it should be a lot of fun. I got some ideas uh, and we can start working on this, I guess. I'm going to try and build and talk while I do this. Uh, so this build, actually, let's start over here. Oh, and I forgot to bring up the picture. Um, I think I kind of remember how this goes, though. So <clears throat> I don't do this often, but we're going to be kind of copying a build 
that I've actually done already. Um, uh, like I said, I don't usually do that. I usually like to come up with new builds every time. But uh, this build, it was actually something that I built in a different game. Um, I built it in Creativeverse, which is a pretty interesting game. Um, but I wanted to kind of, I really liked the build and I wanted to see how it would actually do or how it would look in Minecraft. And so that's what we're doing here today. So let's see, we need to bring it in one more. So I think it went like this and then like that. And that should be the roof line there. Um, also, Creativeverse, I don't know how, how much that's going to continue uh, in the future, which I kind of wanted to talk about as well while we're doing this. I had someone ask, um, I've had some people asking like in comments uh, on other videos and um, <clears throat> had a person ask on the stream yesterday. Uh, and it, it kind of sucks because there's definitely some interest for it. But uh, I don't think I'm going to be continuing Creativeverse too much, uh, sadly. Uh, basically, Creativeverse, uh, if you haven't seen it, it's another voxel-based survival game. It's very fun. It's kind of, it takes a lot of features from Minecraft and Terraria. Uh, like uh, Minecraft, I mean, it's a 3D world. Um, you can farm. Well, they just added farming, which is kind of cool. Uh, and you can, uh, what else from Minecraft? There's not a lot from Minecraft. I mean, it's basically the 3D world. There's a few things, though. Uh, it kind of looks like Minecraft. Um, but also from, like, Terraria, like, there's, uh, the underground is very much like Terraria. Like, there's different layers to the world. Uh, and at the bottom of the world, you have, like, a, a lava layer, and then you have, like, a corrupted layer. Uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, you also have like biome specific mobs, um, and they also have a a really good uh, system where you can you can teleport. You can set up basically your spawn point with a little uh, touchstone they call it, and then you can teleport uh, to um, that touchstone at any time, which is really nice. Uh, it makes traveling around a lot nicer, and you don't have to worry about actually finding your way back or traveling back. Um, and that's kind of, you know, like Terraria has the magic mirror for that or recall potions. Uh, it's one really nice thing about Terraria. Um, <clears throat> and then there's also like teleporters that you, can, that you can set up to get from place to place. Uh, but yeah, so it's a fun game, uh, Creativeverse, also Terraria, but Creativeverse is a pretty fun game. Uh, and I was really enjoying it, but the point where I'm at now, it's uh, there's not a lot in the game. Uh, you can build... I mean, you can explore, you can mine, uh, you can farm, but uh, I've already mined a lot, and I have quite a bit of stuff, uh, and it's pretty easy to get more stuff. Uh, I've explored around a lot, and I've seen pretty much everything, uh, and right now it's basically just building, which is kind of what these sort of games turn into, is just building, which is fun. Uh, the only problem is that I already have this game to build, <laughs> and I would much rather be um, in Minecraft, either on my underground series, which I'm going to keep doing, uh, you know, I'm not going to let underground go away. Um, cause that's kind of my, I like to s say that that's my main series. Um, that went upside down. <clears throat> uh, and then I have this series, you know, I have night owl where I actually have other people to play with. Uh, so I definitely don't want to stop playing this series. Uh, so it's kind of just become a matter of not having enough time to uh, play Creativers or uh, energy or motivation, really, uh, just because I want all my, uh, my motivation to go into these series where uh, I'm a little bit more dedicated to. Um, but I will keep an eye on Creativers. Uh, they do fairly regular updates. Uh, which is pretty great to see. Uh, so I want to see what kind of stuff they come up with. And uh, if I might make videos here or there uh, if I ever find time. Um, there is one thing that I really want to do in there. Uh, I want to make a, uh, a tree house. <laughs> I want to make a, uh, a tree fort, tree house type base. Because one thing that Creativeverse really does better than any other game that uh, I have played is the trees. There are just massive trees. Uh, sadly, you can't grow them, 
but the ones that spawn in are amazing, uh, especially like the jungle trees. And so I would love to go on there and make a nice uh, jungle tree base. And I did those wrong. Dang it. That roof is supposed to be one block higher. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I should raise it up. Maybe I'll leave it there for this one. It doesn't have to be exactly like uh, the one on, uh, on Creativers. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I'm sorry for the Creativerse fans. Uh, I, I'll try to, uh, continue it as best as I can, but, uh, for the most part, um, I, it's not going to be, it's not going to be a very regular series. Very, uh, kind of <laughs> sad to say that just because, uh, I have gotten quite a few views off of that and, uh, people seem to enjoy it. But hey, come come watch Minecraft. Minecraft is is better. Uh, I, I'll I will say like Creativeverse does things right, but Minecraft is still better at this point. Uh, I could see Creativeverse possibly getting better um, than Minecraft, but uh, I would still say Minecraft is a better game. Just it's more rounded, and there's a lot more to do with different bosses and. Um, I would say exploration is more fun in this game than Creativerse. Because uh, Creativerse, like, the different biomes all basically look the same. And actually, this part isn't going to be here. Because I'm going to have another, uh, whatever you call this. <laughs> I'm going to have another one of these on this side. And then that roof line will go horizontally, like that way. Or it'll go that way, yeah, along the building. Uh, I might need to look at a screenshot now because I think I'm sort of stuck in how I did this. Oh, and look who just joined the game. Mr. Sinfai himself. Very cool. Um, so, yeah, I brought up the screenshot. I think I got an idea of what we're supposed to be doing here. All right. Um, also, other news. Uh, I, I just got... My new mic stand, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, finally, I have a good mic stand. Um, for a while, ever since... I've had the uh, the Blue Yeti for a while, which is a big, heavy mic. Um, before that, I used my... Uh, just my headset mic that I had. Um, and ever since I got the Blue Yeti, it's been kind of annoying because... Uh, I never really had a good mic stand to use. I had, like... Uh, I don't know what you really call it, but it's kind of got like a, it's kind of like one you would see in like a concert that holds, uh, that would hold a microphone where it, uh, it just has the stand that goes straight up and then, uh, there's like a pivot point and then, uh, the part that holds, you know, the arm that holds the mic extends out. Let's see, that should actually be a full block. Uh, so I had one of those and it was kind of awkward in my room cause, uh, I, where I had it, it was like right up against a wall. Um, but I got, I had that working for a while and then it stopped working. Uh, dang it. That's wrong. What did I do wrong? I know what I did wrong. This needs to go back one block. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, this needs to start here. Okay. I uh, will just put that there for now. And then we'll have to redo all this. Fantastic. Uh, but yeah, the screws started like, uh, not wanting to hold, uh, anything anymore. Like the screw that I had to tighten to hold the, the, the mic arm in place. Um, it started like getting stripped and eventually one day it wouldn't hold anything. It just was too stripped and, uh, did not want to work. So, uh, since then I've been using just, uh, a little like desktop stand that came with the Yeti. Um, and then I had a couple of piece of pieces of foam uh, underneath it to try and stop any vibrations from like my keyboard or from my computer. Uh, they didn't help a whole lot. You could still, when I, at least uh, not with my like keyboard, you could still kind of hear me mashing around on my keys, um, which is not ideal. Also, it was sitting on my desk right in front of me. Uh, like right between me and my keyboard, which was very annoying. So I couldn't really access my keyboard as well uh, as I would like. But now I finally got a new mic stand. It's a scissor arm mic stand. 
Uh, it is the, it's a road one um, that's pretty popular. Actually, this, I have to go up to there. Uh, and it works amazing. I have it hooked up on like the back of my desk and now I can just, it uh, it pivots and it extends and can go up and down, left, right. It's just, it's amazing. It's so much, it's so much nicer uh, to use because uh, I can easily move the mic uh, in front of my face or out of the way whenever I don't need it. Um, and I don't have to tighten or loosen any screws. And I can stick my, it's floating in the air above my desk, so I can still stick my hands underneath it to type. And it's very, very nice to have. Uh, I really wish I would have just bought one of these. Uh, it's a little pricey. It was like $100. Um, but I really wish I would have bought one of these right when I got my, uh, my Yeti. Would have been a nice thing to have uh, this whole time. But anyways, that's... That's about it for newsy stuff. <laughs> uh, that's about it for talking. We're almost done here with the roof. I guess I'll just finish this up real quick. Uh, and then we can start. Um, maybe I'll get uh, most of the, the building done. And then we can maybe start on uh, some of the detail work and decorating. By the way, if you guys ever wondered how I build and make my my creations, my, my wonderful masterpieces, no. Uh, but if you ever wondered how I made my buildings uh, and designed them, basically this is how I do it. Um, I start. I mean, this one I kind of copied, uh, but it's still I followed the same kind of formula that I usually do. And I think when I first designed it, I basically did the same thing. I start out with just an outline on the ground. Usually, just mark out like the corners of where I want buildings with dirt, um, and then maybe go back. And like here, we're using posts for the corners and stuff. So I put the uh, some of the oak or the, uh, the spruce, <laughs> put some of the logs in at the corners and then filled in the outline with the andesite as we saw earlier. Um, and then I do the roof, uh, cause the roof is, is, uh, what's You need to figure out the roof first. Uh, you need to figure out how that's going to work. Uh, I actually, I really learned that on the, uh, on the uh, log cabin that I did on season one. Uh, that thing, I built it by like section by section and it was terrible. <laughs> Like I, uh, I had a few ideas for things that I wanted, like the fireplace, the entryway, the kitchen. And so I kind of just did those section by section. And when I got to the roof, uh, the roof was a mess. I never really liked the roof, but, uh, I couldn't really get it to look very good. Uh, so I always start with the roof now, um, figure out where you want your building to be, get the roof, uh, with the right shape that you want. Um, and then here I'm just uh, I just filled in all the walls and put in all the logs uh, just to make it a complete house, uh, make it a nice complete shape. And now it's time to start carving it up and detailing it. So like first off, maybe I'll mark out where I want doors and windows. So I want a double door here. Uh, I think I want a, a three wide window here. I uh, will want a window here. Maybe we'll do could maybe do two windows. So maybe a, a two by two window here, a nice big open showroom window. Um, and then we could do something up above as well. Uh, I'm not sure what I would want to do though. Uh, Cause I don't think another two by two would look good, but maybe actually it'd be nice to have a bigger window on the bottom. So what if we did uh what well, if we did like a, a two by two on top going there? Uh, the only problem is you'd see that, but then you could have a three. It's kind of like a, an eye, <laughs> eye sort of shape. Uh, I don't know if I like that though. Eh, eh. <laughs> um, we could do, 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 could take out those and maybe just bring this all the way down to the floor and have a, floor window hmm that I'll have to play around with later but I would like to have a window up top I want that andesite back <laughs> get it back uh, but we'll have a window up top and then uh, a window down here uh, and do something with that maybe we can do something with stairs or something to make them look a little different a little bit better uh, and then let's see on the back and sides I'm not sure 
Uh, if we could do, 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 I don't want them all to just be like big windows. Although maybe I do. Uh, it'd be nice if we could. Do, do, do. Yeah, it's an, uh, it's an even house. So this is gonna be a little awkward. It'd be nice if we could do two big windows here. Hmm. Um, or we could just do one big window here. I mean, it's supposed to be a shop, so we want some nice uh, view, a nice view into the inside. And then we'll probably just have a little, I think these are called gables. That's what they're called. I should know this because I've, I've spent a lot of time around gables, <laughs> uh, framing them, uh, siding them. Not really framing them, but putting rafters up. Uh, my dad is in construction. I don't know if I've talked about this before. Um, and I've helped him a lot, so I've actually done a lot of work on houses uh, and I should know what these different parts are called hey it's AJ what a guy um, actually we want to have a door out back because I'm gonna have like a little field in the back here so I'm wondering do we want the door to be straight back out of here um, or do we want it to be like here maybe that might be a little bit more interesting yeah, I think we'll put it there, and then we'll have a window here. Uh, I don't think we need a big window. Like, that will probably be fine. Um, here we have the same problem where I want a window up top, but I don't want it to be... I want it to be smaller than the window down below. Ba -ba -ba. Hey, it's Silva. Holy cow. Look at this. Look at the, all this activity. We are breathing life into Night Owl right now. And it feels fantastic. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to play around with the window. It didn't give me that one back. It didn't play. It didn't. Uh, I'll have to play around. That's what I was saying. I'll have to play around with the windows a little bit later. But yeah, so there's the openings. Um, so now, one thing I would do, like here, um, obviously, I think we're going to want something going across there. But we need to, we need to break it up vertically. Uh, so with these types of buildings, I always like to use uh, just logs going across to kind of break it up, um, add more structure to it, add more of a frame to it. And I think you'll, you'll be able to see this on the inside. So we'll just go along probably at the same level. It is more interesting if you can do these at different levels. But with this house, the roof line is all kind of very similar. Um, like with the, the die trader, I know we have, it's kind of a skewed house. So uh, some of these beams, uh, these horizontal beams are at different levels and it makes it a little bit more interesting. But uh, with this house, it's a little bit more symmetrical. So we will, we'll leave these all at the same level and it'll be all right. All right, cool. So we got that. Um, also, like we got we got these logs on the corners, um, and then we have these inside corners here. And like we could have logs, or we do have logs on the inside corner, but on the outside, uh, it just kind of goes into each other. So we might want to maybe here and here put some logs just to kind of break that up, break up the wall a little bit. Yeah, I think that would look a little bit better. Uh, cool. And we'll probably want a window up here, I guess. All the windows. <laughs> we want lots of natural light. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, so then from here, we'll probably want a window on this side. Do, do, do. Uh, ba, ba. Let's see, that roof line here, it's kind of... Yeah, I think we'll want smaller windows I know one thing I did on the creative verse house is I had a bunch of like one by two windows like this and that was kind of interesting maybe we could work that into here maybe that would look a little bit better than what we're doing you know we could do a one by two window here maybe even here do, do, do. although I don't know how that would look with this uh, unless we actually went with taller windows instead of 
wider windows. Then we could put a window there. And this could kind of stay a big window. This could potentially stay a big window. Or we could do the same thing we have on the other side and do that. That could be more interesting, I guess. All right. Well, I'm going to work on this a little bit more off camera. I just kind of wanted to take you guys a little bit through the, uh, the actual build process. And actually, while I'm looking at this, I think if we're going to do that, I'm going to do something like that. Uh, one thing I don't like about this, uh, if you have your windows three high, usually doors are only two high. So we're going to have to do something above the door there so that this doesn't look weird. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Well, I've been putting uh, quite a bit of work into this, and it's getting there. It's pretty much done for the... Nah, it's getting there. <laughs> it's not almost done. Uh, I want it to be almost done, but it's not. Um, so we got uh, some hay bales out front to kind of decorate the place. Uh, I still need to uh, muddy up the walls. They're all still andesite. Although with all this decoration in front, it's almost not even that bad. But I, yeah, I'll have to mix in some other things make it look a little better. I think I think I want to do some more decoration out here, but this is the inside so far. We're uh I'm going to change out the floor um whenever I change it out to like a new season. So right now we're going with some acacia wood. I wanted to work it in somehow um cuz it's it's a nice orange kind of halloweeny type wood. Uh and then we have a little a little second floor up here. I'll have some more stuff. I'm not sure how I want to lay everything out in here <clears throat> uh, but I have been kind of collecting some things that I'd like to sell here um, obviously we can sell pumpkins jack-lanterns um, some pumpkin pie uh, cookies cookies are good <laughs> always sell cookies uh, and then these are just some stuff to make them I don't know if I'll sell the individual ingredients or if I'll just make them myself um, other things I was kind of thinking is maybe well, uh, we can take a look out back first, actually, uh, and talk about that. But back here, I have a little pumpkin pumpkin patch, so it's like people can come and pick their own pumpkins. Um, and I'll I'll use this kind of for other things uh, for other times of the year, like uh, for Christmas, we could have a little Christmas tree farm back here. Sort of have like a few uh, spruce trees back here. Um, I'm not sure what we we would use for a lot of the other holidays, maybe. During the summer for like 4th of July, we could have watermelons because uh, watermelon's good good eaten in the summer. Um, not sure what else we could use it for, but uh, yeah, we have it out here. Uh, so that's cool. We have a scarecrow. But I was thinking maybe we could put armor stands uh, so that people can have like mannequins and stuff or uh, statues, you know, have like a decorating thing with the armor stands. Maybe have costumes. We could put some costumes up on armor stands in here for Halloween. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. Um, otherwise, I'm not sure. But yeah, so that's kind of what I need to work on. I need to get the chests in here. Uh, kind of figure out where I want everything to go. Uh, also, I need to go get some cobwebs, which I'm not sure if I have a silk touch book to put on some shears. Uh, I if I I. Th I thought I remembered seeing a librarian um, over at Lon Lon Village with a Silk Touch book, but I can't remember for sure. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. I like it so far. So I'm going to just keep working here. And there we have it. I think uh, I think it's pretty much done. Well, I still got some decorating to do. Uh, you, guys, you guys can't see? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> can't quite see through the jack-o'-lantern? But I look so cool. I look so dang cool. <laughs> All right, we'll take it off. Uh, I love the pumpkin. And I know you can change the texture so that it uh, it doesn't show the silhouette or whatever um, when you have the pumpkin on. But I always feel like that's cheating. I mean, if you're wearing a pumpkin, you need to be looking through a pumpkin face. <laughs> so, yeah, this is it. I'm actually really happy with how the front turned out. I went and got some uh, cobwebs to sprinkle around the place. Uh, I went and got some orange tulips to put in the flower boxes because, you know, orange and black kind of Halloween theme. I uh, got a bunch of hay bales we already had, uh, a couple of jack-o'-lanterns. Then I had uh, put some black and orange wool as kind of like streamers. I I was a little worried about how that would turn out, but I like that. I like that a lot. Um, and then just put some coarse dirt around the front just to kind of uh, decorate the front sort of. 
uh, and then inside um, put another streamer uh, and then I put some chests around um, I don't really need a lot of chests but I did put a few things around I'll have to fill this stuff up I don't have a lot here but uh, I need to go gather some resources and then of course we have the back uh, the pumpkin patch that people are free to take pumpkins from now you know we have this um, Oh yeah, and then I have the armor stands up here that I'm I'm gonna have to come up with some costumes. It'd be really nice if I could actually get like uh, the mob heads, <laughs> so you could have like different mob costumes. The only problem is uh, that's difficult. <laughs> we don't have any sort of farms set up for doing that. Um, yeah, but that would be pretty awesome uh, to get that going here. Uh, could have a zombie costume. I suppose I do have one. I think I have one wither skeleton head. You could have a wither skeleton costume just have like black leather clothing and then uh, <laughs> a wither head great costume great stuff uh but yeah so i now have two shops sort of i mean i got this thing that i'm sort of selling things at and i have we have the die trader over there with kamikaze i'm kind of uh I'm debating whether i actually want to dang it, i'm stuck <laughs> whether i actually want to like charge stuff like, I feel like I am getting resources for people, and if they want to use it, uh, I feel like I should charge things. But I don't know what to charge. Because <laughs> the problem is when you start charging people, people are less inclined to take things from it. And then it's like, well, what's the point? What's the point? Um, and yet, if you don't charge, then maybe people are more inclined to just take everything. And it's like, oh, now I don't have any stock. Uh, and that's not good. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what to charge. Like, diamonds, uh, it just seems like too much. Like, you'd have to sell a lot of stuff for one diamond. Uh, I know, like, a cheap currency, if I was building something big and needed cobble, cobble would be good, but I don't need cobble. Uh, so it's like iron, maybe emeralds. Uh, iron might be a good currency, because we do have the iron tower that you could get iron from. Or, I mean, mining iron is pretty easy. And iron's always a useful thing to have. Um, or emeralds, because uh, emeralds, again, you could trade with villagers to get a bunch of emeralds. Uh, and then you could... Uh, uh, and then with the emeralds, you know, I could buy stuff from villagers, I suppose. Or if we actually set up kind of emeralds as a standard currency and people set up shops, then we can trade emeralds uh, with other people as well uh, to get things. But I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know how to go about making a, an economy on the server. But for now, I'm just going to probably fill this place up and uh, see what happens. People can take stuff if they want. Um, yeah, so that's about it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I really like this build. I think it turned out pretty neat. Pretty neat. I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, like I said, this is going to be a seasonal shop. So once uh, Halloween, probably after Thanksgiving or when it gets close to Thanksgiving, we'll come back in and kind of redo it all. Uh, in the spirit of Christmas, get ready for that. So that should be kind of fun. Uh, just kind of revisiting this uh, building every once in a while and changing it up. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. I will see you next time. And goodbye, peoples.